Hey guys and welcome to my first Samsung Galaxy S3 tips and tricks video. In this video we will be taking a quick look at one launcher. So what is now launcher? Well in the Android world of course the Samsung Galaxy S3 is rocking Android. Uh, you can customize how things look like the lock screen as you can see when we lock the device like this. You can see we have a lock screen down here with custom uh, quick shortcuts at the bottom. And then this is our home screen. We have, of course, nine, I think it's nine different home screens. And then we have apps down at the bottom that always stays there. And then when we drag down, you can see how it looks over here. Let's say you don't like this. Let's say you want to try something new. Well, the good thing with Android, of course, is that you can customize a lot of things and they call them launchers. So when we are inside of our app drawer here and jump back, uh, you can see here that we can use a different launcher, how our home screens looks like. And this time we'll take a look at the Apex launcher, which will change the, uh, the, how the device looks like in the lock screen and also in, on the home screens. So um, if you first go to the, uh, uh, the Google Play Store and take a look at this, Apex launcher that I have installed here. Here you can first get a quick look at how you can get uh, it to look like and uh, you can see that you will have the Apex settings. You can see here that it's a little bit different and you might prefer this uh, and also you can see when you change page it also looks a little bit different. You can see that you have a lot of different widgets that you also get. And then you can see that in the settings, you can change a lot of little things. And this is the advantage with Android, of course. You have the behavior settings, the theme settings. Uh, you have already custom themes, advanced settings, home screen. So let's take a look at this, shall we? So I've installed Apex Launcher right now. So uh, when I now try to go back to my home screen and have this new launcher installed, I can uh, pick this new launcher and try it out, the Apex Launcher. And then I can select if I always want to use it or use once. And if you select always, it will always use it. And if you want to go back, I'm pretty sure you have to uh, uninstall the Apex Launcher. So let's go and try it to um, always use it. And here you can see how you can clear the defaults. And uh, so you go to settings, applications manager and all, and then you can clear those things. So now you can see that um, we are inside of the Apex launcher. So each time we go to the app drawer, you can see also that the app drawer uh, looks totally, totally different. You have different look when you change page. And you can see that if we uh, that if you continue to swipe, it will continue going to the downloaded apps and then going to the widgets. So uh, I'm pretty sure most people do enjoy this. It kind of looks a little bit more like the stock version of Android because of course the Galaxy 3 comes with Samsung's own touch with UI on top of Android. So this is how the launcher looks like it, when you are inside of the app drawer. When we go back to the home screen, you can see that you have a quick little button now here that's located in the middle instead of touch with that has it on the side. And then also when you change um, uh, change page over here, change home screen, you can see that it, it looks a little bit different. Uh, but here's the fun part uh, before I can just take a look at the, yeah, the lock screen looks still right now the same. When we go down at the bottom, they haven't changed and they haven't changed how it looks when you swipe down from the notification area as well. And you can also see here one very good thing, you can import the desktop data from another launcher. So uh, let's say you already use the TouchWiz launcher and you wanna import exactly how it did look like uh, on that launcher, you can, you can import those, that data. So let's import the data from my uh, launcher over here. Uh, so you can see your change will not take effect until you restart Apex Launcher. Let's, let's uh, restart that launcher. And now you can see that uh, we don't have that widget anymore from the Apex Launcher because we wanted to have it how it did look uh, like when we, um, when, we, uh, when we had the TouchWiz launcher. So if you, if you now want to customize, um, this is the fun part, if you want to customize this launcher, we can go and go to, let's see if we can find it. Not over here, not over here either. Okay, well that was interesting. 
Uh, of course, we can just hit the menu key here at settings, and then you can quickly go to the app uh, to the Apex settings. So it says previous launcher. Please open recent apps and swipe away other, la uh, other launches to clear them from memory. So uh, here you can see the recent apps. We can go and uh, remove those things. There we go. So. Here's the fun part, as I said, you have the home screen settings first, where we have a ton of things. The first cool thing here is portrait grid. If you want to have more rows and columns, as you probably already know with the new iPhone, it has one more extra row. Uh, but here you can customize it. So if you want to have a ton of, ton of, ton of apps, uh, you can have 10 rows and 10 columns. And it just looks insane. When we go back now, you can have just so, so many apps uh, being located at the same page so it's kind of intense here with 10 rows and 10 columns you can't even see the whole uh, icons but it's kind of cool uh, it could be kind of cool oh my god <laughs> so that looks kind of fun i think so uh, as you can see of course you have so many things here you can change uh, infinity scrolling if you want to have an infinity scrolling if you want to have the jump effect uh, icon size if you want to make these icons bigger Let's go to 150%. And now it looks pretty, pretty intense. <laughs> and all of these apps here, because we have 10 rows and 10 columns, you can really see that you can really, really customize everything here. And I, I, think, I think it's pretty fun, uh, really, to play around with these settings uh, in the Apex settings. Uh, when we go down, a transition effect here, also, if you want to have a cube effect or something. Uh, you can see right now that I've changed how it looks when we change page. So pretty cool, I think. And then of course we can continue. We have the drawer settings. When the drawer settings, I'm pretty sure you can have a background transparency over here. And I think it's pretty cool. So let's go down to the bottom. And now when we fire up, you can see that we can see that it's totally transparent to the background. And I gotta say that I do enjoy that feature a lot. So you just have a ton of things here that you can um, pick here. You see that you have the default theme here. Uh, you can get more themes. So when we go to the Play Store here, you can always select it always as we did uh, earlier. You can see that we have so many Apex themes. Uh, some are for free and some do cost money. So if you install this theme over here, uh, press uh, go launcher. Oh, wait a sec, that was a go launcher theme. Okay, that was wrong. And so there are different launchers out. I can say one other launcher, two other launchers. One is Go Launcher and one is Nova Launcher. But this is the Apex Launcher and it's one of my favorite launchers. Uh, you have folder settings. If you want to hide the folder name, if you want to have it a little bit more clean looking, you can definitely do that. You have the default launcher here. So if you want to quickly jump over back to the uh, TouchWiz launcher, we can definitely do so. And then you can see that we have, um, it, it looks exactly like it did earlier. So that's something that I definitely do enjoy. So you can just do a ton of things with the Apex launcher. So I might check out more launchers in, um, in upcoming videos here. If you have any specific uh, uh, question, you wanna know if you wanna see a specific app, uh, or you have any tips and tricks idea to future videos, please comment that in the comment section down below. Uh, but me personally, I like usually to stay clean uh, you know, because I really like the nature you the, the nature uh, new touch with in the Galaxy S3. I really feel that it's good, it works. I don't, I don't need to have it um, to have any custom launcher. But if you do know anything extremely cool you can do with the with the with the launcher, please let uh, or please tell me that in the comment section down below. Uh, so yeah, quick video demonstrating the uh, Apex launcher. Hope you did enjoy, and also if you did 
leave, if you did like this video please uh, you can leave some feedback down below and until next time you just have an awesome day yeah peace